Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike from MoboxGraphics.com. And in this video tutorial, we're gonna be going over mats and After Effects and a new thing that I found, which has apparently been in After Effects for years and years and years, it's called Set Mat. And we're just gonna be taking a look at how to use that in After Effects. So let's just go ahead and jump right in here. Um, so I'm just gonna explain to you kind of what mats are and how they work. So if you go in After Effects, you'll see something called Track Mat. If you don't see that, you may need to toggle this Switches and Modes button. And if you still don't see it, then you're gonna right click this and go to Columns and go to Modes. Um, once you toggle that Modes button, you should see Track Mat. So every layer except for the top layer, you'll see something called Alpha or No Track Mat. So Alpha Mat, Alpha Inverted Mat, Luma Mat, Luma Inverted Mat. And I'm just gonna explain to you the first two and then I'm gonna explain the second two and then I'm gonna explain to you Set Mat. So, um, I've got two text layers here. One's alpha mat, one's alpha inverted mat. So you can see the top one is alpha mat, the bottom one is alpha inverted mat. And you can see that they're kind of disappearing. And that's because I've got a mat layer here that is on top. So what this does is it says, look at the layer that's above it and mat out the alpha. So let's see, whenever this text layer is over the text or whenever the shape layer, I'm sorry, is over the text, it will make it visible and it will mat out the alpha. So it'll mat out anything that the shape layer is not covering. So alpha inverted mat is basically the same except for opposite. So wherever the shape layer is, it mats out the layer and wherever the shape layer isn't, which is around the outside, it will leave it visible. Um, this also works with transparency. So I could just select both of these layers and hit T on the keyboard, bring the transparency down and you can see how um, that affects the transparency of the layer. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm just gonna hit Control Z so I don't mess this up, but I'm now gonna jump over to Luma Mat and explain that one. So Luma Mat works basically the same way, except for it's based on the brightness of the layer. So whether it's black or white, that's the brightness. So uh, let's see here. If I press you on the keyboard to pull up all my keyframes, you can see that I've got, again, two layers and they are stretching across and they are just basically gradients from black to white. Um, Luma Matt says that if it's black, make it completely invisible, make it very transparent. And if it's completely white, then make it fully, op fully opacity or full, full, I guess, no, zero transparency. I don't know what the opposite of fully transparent is. Um, <laughs> and then the inverted Luma Matt is basically the same thing, except for opposite. Um, if it's totally black, make it visible, and if it's totally white, make it invisible. Very simple to understand. Now for set mat. So set mat is something I just found like three days ago on a project I was working with, with uh, on the Real Engineering YouTube channel. So there's a lot of cases where you need to have transparency or something, um, but you don't necessarily want to see where they're overlapping, right? You want this layer to be transparent, but you want this layer to kind of mask it out. So just because it's transparent doesn't mean you want to see the layers beneath it. You might only want to see one layer beneath it, such as the background. Um, so I found this tool, it's called Set Mat. If you go to Effects and Presets and search for Set Mat, you can see it here, it's under the channel. And I'm gonna apply it to the second layer, which is this one here. And I'm gonna apply two to the bottom layer, which is this shape here. The reason why I'm doing one on the middle layer is because I wanna mat out the top shape from this layer so I don't get this overlapping. And on the third layer, I'm gonna to need to mat out both the top layer and the middle layer of this. So what's beautiful about this set mat tool is that you don't need to, like Luma Mat, have the layer on top. Um, another cool thing is that you could add multiple mats to the same layer and they don't even need to be near the other layer and they could be totally visible and um, kind of just be on their own. So unlike this, you know, this, this mat layer needs to be invisible. It needs to be over the text. It's kind of annoying. Um, that I have like four layers here when really it's a pretty simple transition. If I had to do something like that on this, it would take me a lifetime. So instead I add the set mat and I select the top shape, which is shape one. And then I hit inverted mat. So you can see there that it, it literally cuts out this top layer from the second layer. Now, if I do the same to the third shape, so I'm gonna cut out shape two and invert it and shape one and invert it it does the exact same thing. So it cut out that little tip there that was being overlapped by this layer and it cut out um, this layer here. Now let's see what happens if I only did one of the layers. So you can see here that I'm able to see that, but the overlapping here is gone. So that might be something I want. 
Um, and if I get rid of this one, you actually end up with very similar with a very similar effect for the reason that this middle layer actually covers where this top layer um, intersects also. But that might not be the case all the time. So I always like to add two mats just because um, you never know how you're going to animate it. And there might be a case where you need that extra mat. So um, now when you watch this play through is it almost looks like that this is like an animation, a fully rendered animation that you then went in and reduced the transparency and added a background to. So instead you're able to do it all in one single composition in After Effects. That's super useful. Um, last thing I'm going to show you is I'm just going to create a new composition. I'm kind of just going off the cuff here. This may be cool. This may not be cool. Um, and I'm going to change my workspace up. And I'm going to create a new layer, layer new solid. I'm going to do white. And I'm going to add my Mobox logo here. And it's actually a white layer. So I'm just going to go to Effect Generate Fill. I'm going to just make it black. Actually, I'm going to keep it pink. Uh, or kind of red only because I don't really it's the color won't matter so let's see here is there anything cool that I have uh, isometric grid that'll be cool um, and I'm just gonna scale this up s on the keyboard scale that up and maybe I make this isometric grid black effect generate fill make it black and let's say I Duplicate this layer, you bring it down, maybe over. I don't know how cool this is going to look. Um, maybe I, I'll just do one at a time for right now. Um, I could really simply just add a set map to this. And I can select the Mobox lettering and boom, I just matted out that set map with my text that's now beneath it. So I could reduce the transparency. Maybe something like that. If I wanted to do this before, I would literally have to duplicate this text layer, put it on top, set the track mat to alpha mat, and it would be a total nightmare. Let's say I wanted to duplicate this isometric grid layer. Since it already has the set mat on, it's fine, it works. And I could just move this over, and I could do this 100 times, um, and I can make a really complex, interesting, um, I guess, well, it's up to you about how interesting that looks. I don't think it looks that interesting. Um, but if I wanted to do something like this before, it would literally require so many so many track mats that it would just be a total waste of time. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, check out other videos on this channel, and let me know if this helped you out. Share your um, videos on Twitter or on Instagram or on Facebook with us, and be sure to join our Discord channel. Um, anyways guys, let us know, show us what you've done with this. Thanks for watching.